Hey, my name's Cam, and uh, we're gonna be trying out vlogging, and this is vlog one, post Iron Man. <laughs> All right, so my uh, memory on my SD card just announced it was full, so we're gonna be doing this on the iPhone. So you, uh, yeah, Phoenix is a cool spot. Um, it's oddly beautiful. Um, really exposed, barren, um, lots of rock and cacti, um, and yeah, really cool mountains. Uh, we, on the bike course, we rode into the hills a bit, and gosh, it was, uh, it was warm. <laughs> it's a lot better than the snow. Hey, Coda, what's up with this? What is this, up with this? So Friday, um, two days before the race, I checked in at Tempe Town Lake and rode part of the bike course. Saturday was pretty much feet up. Sunday, woke up at 3.30 in the morning, got some good breakfast, lots of oatmeal, lots of coffee, two bananas, and then I headed over to the transition zone for 4.30. I go to the bike, pump up the tires, and make sure all the bags were ready to go. Um, for race day, so um, extra food and equipment. And then uh, I got my race number on and uh, put Vaseline on for the wetsuit. And then I uh, met my mom and headed over to the swim start. Now the swim went pretty well. Um, I'm not a swimmer, so I wasn't expecting much. It, the race really starts for me on the bike. On the bike, it was pretty much status quo. Um, I was a bit nervous having not uh, ridden outside in a while, but yeah, it went, it went really well. Uh, kept a steady pace. I kept on telling myself, like, stick to the plan. Um, you know, I wanted to get off the bike and run steady, and I was expecting that to be like five minute Ks, and and hold that. Um, that didn't happen. I ended up holding like 430s, 440s for about 10k. Um, and then it, I mean, and then the marathon sets in. Um, and all of what you've done uh, <laughs> before, the, the six hours of racing you've already done. So, and then it got real, like the legs, the legs ached. Um, and I was hurting. And uh, in those kind of lows, I, I really drew on um, the support and donations and um, just the experience of um, doing this for Impact Romania and um, the orphans and staff and volunteers in Romania. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, uh, there's a link in the description below. Um, where you can help support and, and just learn a little bit more on uh, Romania and yeah, just the history of orphans in Romania. And another huge source of inspiration was um, having Brent Pease there uh, at about 26k. I was still kind of going through a rough patch, but coming out of it and, and Brent like, he he motivated me at that point with like, you know, 15K to go, like you're in a weird spot. Um, you've done so much and your mind's playing tricks on you and you want to stop. So getting that from Brent, like it lifted me and it, it carried me throughout the rest of the race. So Brent, if you're, you happen to come upon this video, thank you. Um, it meant a lot to me. And that's Brent right there. Cameron Mitchell from Markham, Ontario, 23 years old. Way to go, Cam. You are an Iron Man. So the day after, um, I could barely walk. I was basically falling forward and hoping my legs would catch me and be there. Um, but my mom and I went to the breakfast um, and the awards, which was Really cool. And the winner of the 18 to 24 from Markham in Ontario, he went 10-13-05, 23 year old Cameron Mitchell.
<laughs> there you go, you're good looking man, 18 to 24. And then I got a berth to go to Kona in 2019. So this is the end of vlog one. Like below, share, um, subscribe, and uh, check out the links below. Thanks, see ya.